Hello everybody, so today in this YouTube video I'm going to be showing you how I tone my extensions and these extensions are from abhair.com which I did a review on. If you want to see more or learn more about these extensions, the link will be down below. So I'm going to show you how to get them from this kind of golden yellow blonde color to my natural color which is, well not my natural color, but the color I have now which is a white blonde. So I'm going to show you how I got them from golden blonde to platinum blonde. So as you can see these extensions are quite yellow which isn't unnatural. Usually when you buy extensions they usually do come very very yellow which is no big deal because it's very very easy to fix with the products that I'm showing you now. The first one that I'm using is the Clairol Shimmer Light which you guys saw me do a review on and even though I have a love hate relationship with this with this shampoo it does do a pretty good job also I'm going to be using the Germac silver plus um, silver distinctions shampoo just to kind of mix it up and finish it and then I'm also going to be using just a plain white conditioner this is just a really big moisture rich conditioner from Dollar General but you can use you know whatever you want so the first step is to carefully brush through your extensions and get them wet under lukewarm water. You don't want the water to be too hot or too cold, so lukewarm will be just fine. The most important thing about washing your extensions at any time, whether you're shampooing them or toning them like I am, you always want to make sure that you're really, really gentle with them because just like your own hair, you want to take good care of them. So the st second step is to make the mixture. This is what I use and it works really, really well. So first I'm just going to take some shimmer lights on my hand. It's a really, really dark pigmented purple shampoo. Then I'm also going to mix a little bit of the Silver Distinctions, which is, as you can see, a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to take some white conditioner just to mix it in to kind of dilute it because otherwise the purple will stain the hair. So then I just kind of mix it up in my hand and then grab the extension and just kind of massage it in like so. Of course being really really gentle and you want to make sure that you get the you know little shampoo mixture all throughout the extension so it you know can get every every yellow tone that it comes across and as you can see right away it automatically starts to look more ashy so as you can see here that's what we want to have happen because that will get rid of the the yellow tones have gone and it'll look more like, you know, my hair color that I have now. So then I just kind of let that sit um, for a few minutes and then just move on to the next one. Again, doing the exact same thing, just getting it wet to making sure that you're really gentle and make sure that you brush through your extensions before you start um, washing them because you don't want any tangles to get wet and, you know, be pulled on later. So. Just make sure you get it fully wet before you start making your little shampoo mixture. Again, using Clairol Shimmer Lights, Germac Silver Distinctions, and Conditioner, and just mix that up in your hand and apply to the extensions. Then after you let that one sit, take the one that was previously sitting and rinse them really well in again lukewarm water, making sure you get all the shampoo and conditioner out. This is my favorite way to rinse them because it doesn't involve them getting crumpled or having any of the hair split. I just kind of run it through my fingers to get the product out, run it again, and do the same thing. Then step four is after they're completely rinsed, just pat dye pat dry with a towel. I just take just a simple hand towel and as you can see here I am not crumpling up the extensions in any way. I am just running them through the towel and pinching my hand together to suck as much of the water out as I can because you want to again take really good care of your extensions so they have a long lifespan and this is the best way to do that when they're wet. Then just carefully brush through them with a wide tooth comb and lay them out to air dry. I don't like to blow dry my extensions, I just let them air dry so that's what I did. Then just repeat with the rest of your extensions.
depending on the size weft of the extension, it determines how much shampoo that I use. So if I'm using, like for instance, this is the four clip weft, um, I use a lot more shampoo because there's a lot more hair, obviously. For the single clips that I use that I didn't film, I just used a little bit. So depending on, you know, how big the extension is, is kind of how I determine and measure out the shampoo that I use. I don't like to use too much, too much, especially with the shimmer lights because I have had a problem with making it stain you know my hair and my extensions as well it is really really potent so yeah the conditioner really does help to dilute it so yeah Another thing I really wanted to add in about the Shimmer Light Shampoo is you really want to make sure that whenever you get a chance to wipe down your countertops as soon as the shampoo makes contact with it because this shampoo does stain. It'll stain your shower, it'll stain your tub, it'll stain your countertops. So just make sure that you wipe it down really good as I'm doing here to make sure that you don't have any purple stains on your counter because it has happened and it still won't come out to this day. So yeah, just clean them up really good. If for any reason Shimmer Lights does stain your extensions, because that has happened to me before, there's nothing to worry about because it does come out. As long as you take a really strong pure white shampoo and wash your hair, they will come out. So just after like a couple washes. So if you see any purple streaks in your extensions, don't freak out because all you got to do is just give them a good wash again and they will come out. And then after you rinse all of them, just go ahead and brush through them and lay them all out like so. And what I also like to do is while they're still a little bit damp, I do like to take my Suave Keratin Leave-In Conditioner and I like to take just a little teensy weensy bit on my hands like so and rub them through the extensions and through the ends as well just to keep them really healthy and you know, soft looking. So I just do this for each of the extensions and then just let them air dry from there. And then once you do all of that, you are all finished. And this is what they turned out like. I'm super duper happy with it because they they showed up really, really yellow and there was no way that was gonna match my hair. So I'm really glad it worked. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to share it. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.